Envy, and today we are going to be creating a Easter tray. Now you can either choose to do the rectangular one or the circular one, but for my project today I'm going to be working with the rectangular version. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that your machine is connected and that you have refreshed your screen. I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like when I put my cutting board onto my P2. So I'm using the Xtool P2 and I have the honeycomb in place and I have put my cutting board on there. And even though it's pretty heavy, it shouldn't slide around, I did go ahead and put some of my clips surrounding it. And that's just to make sure that it really does stay steady with having the air assist on. Now I've got my wooden cutting board in place in my Xtool P2. And whenever you do something in your machine, you wanna go over here into the right hand toolbar and click the refresh button. And that just makes sure that it takes an image capture of whatever is happening currently in your machine. And it's super important anytime you change anything in your machine. Now the next step is over on the right hand side is I need to measure my distance. I'm going to be working in an open plane. And then I'm going to click this button here, which it will auto measure. And I'm just going to click the center of my board. The reason you want to do this before you place your image is that sometimes it will actually change how the depth that it, the camera is looking at whatever it is that you will be engraving or cutting. And then that means that your image will not be placed properly. So it's super important to always measure the distance before you place your image. Okay, the auto measuring is done. And now over here on the left hand side, in this toolbar, I'm going to click the icon that says image. I'm going to find my Easter Bunny tray and you're going to find it wherever you have it saved and then click open. Now as you can see it's a little bit too big for my board so I'm going to go to one of the corners and I'm going to hold down the shift key and just drag the corner in to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm going to place it where I would like. Now. This is where if you want to add something like love and you want to put somebody's names, you would be putting that down here at the bottom. So if I wanted to, I could add love Carl and Jack right down here, which are my boys names. So I'm going to go ahead and click this again and I'm going to click in gray so I can see my image really well. And I'm going to go over here to my left hand side to my text feature and I'm going to click on that. And I'm going to say, love, Carl, and Jack. Make sure we get rid of that extra J. Okay, so now I need to change the font to the one that I use, and I use KAC Horse. So if you'd like yours to match exactly, that is the font that I used. And then when that blue line appears, it just means that I've centered it with my design, which is perfect because that is exactly what I'd like. And then I'm also going to change it to engrave. So now I can see what it would look like saying love Carl and Jack. I'm going to move it up a little just so that way this is a little bit more centered on my tray. All right, so now I need to change my settings for my engraving. So I'm going to shift hold to select both of these. And I'm going to change my power. We're going to go to 35. I'm going to do a speed of 200. And then I'm gonna change my lines up a little bit to 120. Okay, now we are ready to go. So in the bottom right hand corner, I'm going to click the process button. It will show us a preview of what is going to be on my board. And then I'm going to click the start button. Okay, now I'm back in my machine. I'm going to push the blue glowing light to get it started and it will begin engraving. Now I'm not gonna show you the entire process of engraving because it will definitely take too long, but I will show you the final product at the end. Okay, 
Here's a picture of what it looks like when the engraving is finished. I forgot to take a picture of it still within the machine, but I did just remove it. And now what I'm going to do is to take a little bit of rubbing alcohol and just wipe the board clean. And this will just take off all of the char because I opted not to mask it, but you could have masked ahead of time and it will reduce the char. And here's what the final product looks like once I've cleaned off all of that char.